Hi guys and welcome back. For today's video, I want to show you my October favorites and I can't believe we're already into November. This month flew by. I had so much fun creating my Halloween looks for you guys and the love that you guys have shown on my Halloween videos has been awesome and I'm very, very happy you guys liked it and thanks for all the love. I have tried a lot of new makeup in October. Obviously it wasn't on camera but I found some good stuff and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you would like to know my October favorites, then keep on watching. Almost all of it is makeup and then a couple things are skincare. So I want to go ahead and jump in. And the first product that I have been loving is a primer. It doesn't necessarily have to be before makeup. It could be on your no makeup makeup days or if you're not wearing makeup, it's gonna make your skin look flawless and beautiful. This is the Clarins um, Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. It's like a whipped type of texture. It fills in your pores, it blurs your skin, it gives you such a photoshopped look. And I love using this in combination with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because it does not seem to make my makeup last for a long period of time. And when I say a long period of time, I would say eight to 12 hours, usually about the seven, eight hour mark. I kind of start noticing that my makeup doesn't look like it's there as much. You know what I mean? It's kind of wore off in places. So it doesn't necessarily help your makeup longevity, but as far as texture, smoothing, filling in your pores, all that stuff, it is amazing. And this is something I got in my BoxyCharm. I do the BoxyCharm Premium, so I get, I think, five to six full-size products. And uh, actually, there's a couple things that I have here that are from BoxyCharm that I had to mention that I've been using nonstop, and I could see myself definitely repurchasing this in the future. My next favorite is actually a foundation and concealer brush in one. This is the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. This is a pricey guy, okay? I was not sure I wanted to get it when um, I actually went to go purchase it. I've been eyeballing this brush for a long time, and then I finally got um, the nerve to go to Ulta and drop the dough on this bad boy, but actually I am so glad that I did. So this side is for your foundation, this side is for your concealer. It is so soft and gives me such an airbrush finish. Oh, it's there's just something about it. I'm sorry, this is the Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush from It Cosmetics. I think this was about 46 bucks. So again, pricey, you do get the two brushes. The quality is great. I've been using this over my Beauty Blender, my Real Technique sponge, any sponge. I've been using this. I feel like with the brush, when you can either stipple it or do small circular motions when applying your foundation, I feel like it gives a more airbrush finish and fills in, you know, the pores makes my pores look smaller because I do have pretty big pores, but I've been using this every time I have done my makeup and I'm not sure, I can't guarantee, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to a sponge. And I use less product. I feel like the sponges always soak up my product. I use less product. So I might use maybe one pump because I'm getting all of that foundation on my face or all that concealer on my face. So I don't need to use as much product and I don't feel like my makeup is as heavy because when I use a sponge, I'm using two or three pumps and I'm making sure I get that two or three pumps on here. Sometimes I do half pump, half pump on, you know, half pump here, half pump here and then blend it out. And that's sometimes all I need. And I've been loving blending out my concealer with a brush. It is more time consuming than with a sponge, but with my dark circles and my wrinkles, I feel like it fills in and makes all of that look so flawless underneath of my eyes. So if you're looking for a brush to do your makeup, I would highly recommend trying this bad boy out. My next two products I also got in a boxy charm and I think they're gonna be staples in my collection. 
This one is from Kozas, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It is their eighth Muse color in light cream high intensity blush and highlight in one. So this is, if I can get it open. This is what it looks like. This is the cream blush and the cream highlight. This is what I have on today, the cream blush. It is so natural looking on the skin. And I love wearing this when I'm not wearing any foundation, powder, or anything. I love wearing this when I'm just kind of doing a more natural look. It's so creamy. It blends out so beautifully and so natural. The highlight does give off. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Um, a pink hue to it. So if you're not into a highlight that gives you uh, a pink reflection, then you probably wouldn't like the highlight. But if you do, it is so creamy. It doesn't emphasize texture, anything like that. Uh, I have really been digging it as, as well as with the Milk Makeup Highlighter. This is what I have on today and it gives such a natural glow to the skin. I am obsessed with this. I have taken this, so I went camping at my dad's house a couple weeks ago, took this, and I went camping over hol holiday, over Halloween weekend, and I take this because I don't really wear any other type of makeup when I'm camping except maybe some mascara, just to give my skin the most beautiful, gorgeous glow. It makes it look so healthy, and I love this shade for me, even though um, it's not, you know, pale white or a white shade it kind of gives a more champagne type reflection but once you get it on your skin it is so beautiful and I have put this over my powder I just take some on my ring finger and just kind of tap it over my skin and it doesn't move my powder you know the foundation or lift or anything like that so um, when I have no makeup on I'll just swipe it and then kind of tap it out and then when I have makeup on and this is the highlight I want to use again I just kind of put it on my finger and tap it out and it is just so beautiful and so natural it doesn't make my pores look big and doesn't emphasize any type of texture and if I had to choose between the two different highlights, it's gotta be this one. I don't think I'm ever gonna go without this highlight. I will definitely be purchasing this once I uh, go through it. It is just absolutely beautiful on the skin. I have some eyeliners here from NYX. These are their Epic Wear uh, waterproof eyeliners. They are the new ones that they have recently come out with. I got yellow, white, and blue here. And if you guys have been a fan of NYX for a long time, do you remember their old liquid highlighters? And they used to kind of get crusty and flake off. Uh, these don't do that. And they are so long lasting. Again, they're waterproof. And I used the white one in a look a couple um, videos ago. Actually, it was probably back in September, end of September. I use the white in a Halloween look. They're just so easy to work with and they last forever. This is what the blue, the white, and the yellow look like. And then I also got the Epic Wear liner stick in yellow. And this is what I got in my waterline today. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, the yellows are kind of different colors. This is more of a yellow yellow and then this is more of a pale type of yellow see if you guys can kind of see that I know it's like a really weird angle but that's what they look like and maybe you can see the highlights a little bit better with my hand up here this is the milk makeup highlighter and then that was the um, more pinky Kozas 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 um, highlighter but anyway I've been obsessed with these eyeliners and it's nice to find a drugstore colored eyeliner for different looks, especially when you want to be creative and do some colorful stuff or some really neat details when it comes to your makeup. So they are super affordable by NYX and I got all of them at Ulta. The mascara I have been obsessed with lately is by Fenty Beauty. It is their full frontal volume lift and curl mascara. This is the little bitty 
uh, trial size, not even the travel. This is like the trial, you know, when you have um, your points added up at Sephora and then you can pick pick your prize, <laughs> you know? I was like, ooh, let me try that mascara, which is my favorite way to try makeup when I don't want to risk buying a full size product and not knowing if I like it. I'm so picky when it comes to mascara. So this was a perfect way for me to try a mascara. And if you want length, curl, and not have clumpy lashes, the Fenty Beauty Mascara would be amazing for you. My favorite concealer probably of all time. I, I love the e.l.f. The e.l.f. was my go-to concealer for such a long time. But now it's been replaced with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. You guys know I am obsessed. It's right here. I'm obsessed with the powder foundation from Makeup Forever. It just, this is the lightest shade that they have and it's still kind of a little too dark for me, believe it or not. Uh, it's in the shade R210, but I had to get the concealer and it's in the shade 2.1, uh, the lightest shade that they have. And it is so creamy, blends out beautifully, does not crease. It's everything you want in a concealer. It's long lasting. It doesn't cake up. It is amazing. It is definitely full coverage. So I would recommend starting off with a little bit and kind of building it up if you want more coverage than just like slapping it all underneath of your eyes because you're gonna be blending forever and actually probably wiping some of it off because it is so crazy high coverage. So if you want a high coverage, awesome, amazing concealer, I would definitely give this a shot. The eyeshadow palette I have been using throughout the month of October is by Juvia's Place. This is the Tribe eyeshadow palette and it is beautiful. It's what I have on my eyes today. I used this orange, this shade, and then these two down here for my eyes. I have spoke about Juvia's Place throughout the whole time I've been on YouTube, they are one of the most pigmented eyeshadow brands I have ever used. Again, a little bit goes such a long way and you can't go wrong with their eyeshadow palettes. I've had, I think this is like my fifth eyeshadow palette from them and I have never once been disappointed, been disappointed with an eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place and I got this one at Ulta. It is just absolutely gorgeous, stunning a black owned makeup brand and hello i am filming my favorites everybody loves texting me when i'm filming i swear i promise they do they really really do try juvia's place if you haven't their eyeshadow palettes are not gonna let you down the lip gloss i have been taking everywhere with me is by fenty beauty this is one of the gloss bombs this one's in fenty glow it's what i have on today i also have i think it's called sweet mouth which is a lighter shade than this one. So let me see if you can, if I can get this up here for you guys to see, but it is just for me, in my opinion, a beautiful fall lip gloss. I don't even have any lip liner on. It is long lasting. I went to uh, my dad's, like I said, encamped and we went to one of the little Amish country places out there and we got a donut that was about as big as my freaking head. And I had this lip gloss on an eight, almost all that donut because that's just how I roll. And this lip gloss was still on. It was not budging even after eating uh, that big of a donut. So the longevity of this, the glossiness of it, it's not sticky or anything like that. It's so comfortable to wear. This gloss bomb is bomb. The last two things I wanna talk about are skincare. This is another product I got in my BoxyCharm. It is the go-to exfoliating swipeys. So ever since COVID and having to wear a mask, my lower part of my face has been jacked up. Extremely deep, clogged pores. Uh, my milia is out of control. I have these just little bumps on my face. They're not um, having white heads. They're so deep and they hurt. They actually physically hurt and they're so big. It's, it's awful. What I think is helping is me washing my face um, before work um, and then making sure I come home. When I come home, I exfoliate 
and I only work twice a week. So um, I feel like these exfoliating pads are really, really helping. So I will cleanse my skin and then take one of these um, pads and they kind of are like the text, there's a textured side of it, but um, this is what they look like and it has the um, product on it. So I take the textured side and just kind of gently rub this over my skin for about a minute and then you actually wash the product off. You don't use another product to wash it off, you just go rinse, rinse it off with water and then continue on with your skincare. But I do feel like this is helping and um, I've only been using them, I would say maybe two, two and a half weeks, but I really do feel like they're making a difference and it's just convenient to use this just to swipe over uh, my face. But yeah, they're a exfoliating pad and uh, I really think it's helping with my new mask knee. <laughs> the last product I'm going to talk about is from Olay. This is the Olay Regen Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum. I usually use a micro, a micro, what am I talking about? A vitamin C serum. But there is something about this. It gives my skin such a pearly, like glowing, um, iridescent to it. I, I don't know. It is absolutely stunning. And um, it's so creamy and just so hydrating. Look at the glow that it's going to leave my hand after this. Ugh, it just feels so good. Do you guys see that glow? That's what it leaves on the skin. And it is not like sticky it it soaks into the skin and just like i said leaves that beautiful radiance to it oh i just absolutely love this serum i use this um in my skincare routine after i do get off work for the when i want to wash my face after wearing my mask at work you can use it up to twice a day and i just feel like it's really making a difference in my skin this is just Oh, I just love the way that it feels. It's amazing. So that is it for my October favorites. Some of these I feel like are not going anywhere. You'll probably see me use them for a very long time, um, especially when it comes to the milk makeup highlighter and this concealer and obviously the, the brush. This was an investment. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or you've been thinking about trying these products. I know this is like, this concealer is like the new talk of the town you know what i mean a lot of people are ranting and raving about that so that is it for this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button i would really really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next one thanks for watching